So you were in Chicago recently. Tell me about that trip. Well, it was a very crazy trip. It was, I would say it was one of my craziest trips ever. I really? Was, oh, kind of like a lot. And it was one of the first times I was alone at a city in, in the U.S. Okay. I've been alone in New York, but it was for just a long layover. So it was not a big deal, but I spent like a couple of days in Chicago and then three days in Chicago. Okay, let's start from the beginning. I, yeah. It took me three days to get to Denver. From Chicago? No, no, no. From Chile. Wow. Is, How did it take three days? Well, <laughs> because I was traveling on a bike. You know, like money doesn't grow on trees. And I'm a recently graduated student. And yeah. the only jobs I could apply for were like um, waiting at a restaurant. And that was what I was doing. Tips were great. Like very yeah. good. Like it was very easy for me to to save money because I didn't have to touch my wage. I could live from the from the tips. <laughs> yeah, and that was great. Um, when I earn enough money to go and to start planning my trip, I will quit my job and start planning it. I started mm -hmm. planning my trip on August, and I got my tickets for November sixteenth to spend thanksgiving with my family in denver okay and well, the trip as i was traveling on a budget had many overs i have to go from santiago to sao paulo brazil from sao paulo brazil to mexico city and from mexico city to chicago wow i remember i got to chicago at um 2 p.m. maybe okay um, I wasn't able to catch the train because I really wanted I wanted badly to travel by train in the U.S. Okay. like a long distance tra distance train and I decided that I wanted to go to Denver by train from Chicago okay. and I have to stay one day over in Chicago I remember I was staying near this uh, L station Fullerton Avenue yeah yeah i know i'm very aware of that stuff purple lines yeah <laughs> we're stopping there we're calling at the station and i started there at a pretty nice hostel which name i don't really remember unfortunately but it was a great experience um like the first the first thing I did when I arrived to the hostel was to take a shower because I felt myself like sticky, sweaty. Yeah. Um it wasn't nice at all. I had to change my clothes and everything. And I went, I simply went out, like, let's explore the city. Yeah. And I simply went bounded to the loop and I got down the first. Uh, station I believe it was Clark and Lake if mm -hmm. I yeah. remember correctly. it was Clark and Lake and I, I got off there and started walking around mm -hmm. it was already late it was like around five it was dark already um, and I was just going around the streets and taking pictures with this uh, amazing buildings and lighting and lights yeah the streets it was magical and well chicago didn't have that many tourism back then because you know coronavirus happened yeah and i was mostly alone there so it gave me great scope to explore the city and take great mm -hmm. pictures and yeah it was magical. That ma that night was magical for me. It's cool. I, I still wanted to try the Chicago style pizza, but I didn't find like any any place with the best reviews that I wanted to okay to see for going there. So I remember that night I I went to a Panda Express and oh, yeah. nice some chow mein and 
that was all my food there. Yeah. And after that, I went to a Whole Foods to get a cupcake. And the next day, nice. I remember, I went to the to the lake to see the lake. And because it was like five blocks away from where I was staying, and there was this park, Lincoln Park, if I if I remember correctly. Yeah. And I walked through there uh, all the way up to the lake. It was very windy, very chilly, and I simply loved it. Yeah. The other thing was that it was cloudy that day, so uh, the skyline of Chicago wasn't making justice to the pictures I was taking. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, but it was amazing. I was amazed to see such big lake ocean-like and never seen something like that here yeah what what other things did you do in the city um pretty much uh i explored dl <laughs> yeah that's um one of my other fascinations are trains and public transportation and well i i enjoy exploring dl and reading about the history of dl and Actually, the first, the, my first leg in Chicago wasn't that uh, long enough okay. to go around the city <clears throat> that much. Um, so it was pretty much like getting to know the city and getting to know the, um, the, the surroundings. Yeah. About all. I, I haven't went like, oh, I will go to, let's say, Sears Tower or nothing i just i just say i want to see the lake and i want to go to the loop that was yeah the goal. okay yeah nice. i didn't have a plan but um uh, on my way back from denver to chicago i was able to see more of the city and which amazed me the most about chicago was the amazing like lakefront mm -hmm. the, the society was beautiful with parks and place to places to have fun places where you can see where you can jog around or bike and it was beautiful it was a great um like chicago is mostly complimented as a city that knows how to um blend the city and the urban spaces with water and yeah i think it really does it in a wonderful way yeah it's uh it's a great city and we got great views great parks uh what what surprised you most about the city that you didn't expect um actually i have a a good surprise and a bad surprise okay let's hear it which one do you want to listen first bad okay um public transport despite being um, better than other public transportation systems I've seen or experimented in the US, um, it was like um, very dirty in general. And I felt it, I felt unsafe on it. Okay. Uh, it wasn't the nicest place to go. Uh, as, I, as I told you, I like to explore the ill. But I found out um, not very nice places and the trains were like unsafe too with uh, drunk people or people smoking. And it wasn't that nice because I, I was never famil familiar with that kind of uh, things in yeah. my hometown, for example. Okay. That was shocking for me. That was the bad surprise. Now the good surprise is that I never thought that Chicago will be such a um, multicultural or multi-ethnic city. I didn't expect to see that much of a variety of races around me as mm -hmm. in other cities. I, I believe myself that like New York is, it was the most diverse city in the whole U.S., um, well, it still is probably, but I was never expecting to see so much, um, so many Hispanics, for example, in Chicago. I was amazed. Yeah, and, we, got, we got a real good Latin <laughs> population here. Yeah, 
And um, I was surprised as well that um, white people were very few compared to Asian, Latinos, um, Afro-American people. And it was nice because you have all of these kind of uh, places where you go to it and they're very diverse and you see all kinds of people in the street and it feels like um, mostly safe, like um, people just do their life because they're people, no matter the color of the skin, the color of their hair, or even no matter of the language they spoke. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's quite diverse. It's diverse, but it's also like there's a vibe. There's a vibe of Chicago that that I, I haven't experienced elsewhere. So when I travel, one of my favorite things to do mm. is like getting back and then like taking the L from O'Hare to uh, the bus and then riding the bus back home. And you just get on the bus and there's people, they look all different, but there's, it's like the same vibe. It's like this mix between New York hustle and LA chill. And it's like in between it. Yeah. And it's just like, everybody's just like, cool. You know, <laughs> I can actually say that I totally like Chicago as a, uh, as a tourist and as an American, because uh, uh, I've been to other cities. Uh, LA, for example, is not my to-go example of the best American city to go to visit. Yeah. Um, mostly Especially as I, someone who, yeah, go ahead. I think I know what you're going to say. Because uh, cars and traffic yeah. jumps everywhere, and I hate cars, and no. And New York has all the New York vibe, like you can see hundreds of thousands of TikTokers uh, going to New York and, you know, this New York vibe, whether yeah. it's good or bad, you know, good with the Central Park, with the places to go around, with the museums and everything. And the bad part with this, with the nasty subway, with the rats, <laughs> <laughs> expensive hot dogs. Yeah. And it has all the vibe. And I can say that Chicago gave, gave me the most um, nice vibe that yeah. I've experienced in a new city that I encounter in the U.S. I will compare it to Washington probably, but, you know, it's a little different story with Washington, but yeah. um, Chicago has its own charm and um, it's an affordable city. Ha it has uh, good public transportation and it's fun. Like you have yeah. so many things to do there. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Good. Yeah. Good. Uh, good summary. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, appreciate you, you visiting too. 